Welcome to Team Wild's Air Power. This week, we're taking you deep into the forest of Newbury for one of the most hotly contested competitions of the 2013 British Field Target Association season. This is the British Masters, and the competition will be fierce as everyone prepares themselves for the upcoming World Championships in Eben, Germany. The 2013 season was one of the closest battles in the history of the sport, with arguably the most competitive field of elite shooters ever assembled challenging for the championship, most of whom are here today to lay claim to the Masters title. Amongst them is newly crowned Grand Prix Series winner Andy Calpin and Welsh shooting wonder kid Jack Harris, who's been hot on his heels all summer. Competitors have travelled from every corner of the UK to compete in this prestigious event. We'll be following the journey of Team Wild's very own field target virtuoso John Costello, who'll be keen to stamp his authority on the sport after a comparatively ordinary season by his standards. My name is John Costello, I've been shooting for about nearly 12 years now, um, so since I was 11. Um, done a lot of stuff for field target, um, shot HFT uh, a good few years ago, but now I mainly do field target. Today we're shooting the um, 2013 field target British Masters. Um, it's comprised of two separate courses um, that run around each other. You've got two minutes per lane, um, and each course is made up of 30 targets each. And the idea is after the, um, you shoot one course, have a bit of a break for your dinner, um, you know, mingle with some of the guys, and then you'll go and shoot the second course, and you add both scores together, whoever has the highest score at the end of the day wins the competition. I was one of the first to go around. I've just shot the, um, the yellow course, so I've still got the red to shoot this afternoon. Um, put in a 20, 26, so missed four. Um, so far, I've only heard one better, which was a 27 by Bobby Banks, but it's still early days, but it'll be good to see, um, good to see what happens this afternoon. Still got a lot of the top boys to go around as well, so it's going to be an interesting day. Um, at the minute we're about a third of the way through the second course. Um, we've got a, one guy, Keith, who's not having a bit of a bad day, I'll be honest. Um, Sean, he's doing really well, uh, and I'm clear so far, so things are okay at the minute. Um, but there's been a lot of big scores going uh, right now, and f obviously from a little bit earlier. So I'm going to have to pull my socks up if I want to uh, stay in it this year. Uh, we're doing well so far, um, first half of the course is done, um, we've cleared that so far so all's going good but I've got a lot to, uh, to make up with some boys putting in some mega scores on the course so uh, need to keep going really. this afternoon so I'll offer that in this morning but we've had a couple of guys um, like Jack Harris who's done a 59 out of 60 over the two courses so he's um, yeah, he's putting a good one which is uh, pretty hard to beat. Um, I thought I shot all right um, I did two or three of them drop out the bottom of the uh, bottom of the kill so hopefully that's not a um, not a scope issue I'm just gonna give the barrel a quick pull through um, just see if that's something that's making them drop a bit low. Been a, been a good day um, not as many people turned out as I, as I thought which is a bit, uh, a bit unfortunate but both courses have been brilliant. Uh, hats off to the guys who, who put them out. Yeah, it's been a really good day.
Right, today's event was uh, sponsored by the British Association of Shooting and Conservation and they've given us some cash prizes. So we're going to start off first with the open class and the winner today is Tony Four Acres. Seventh place, also on 54, John Costello. And in third place, with a score of 57, after his shoot-off, we also with a 50 pounds, is Andy Kelpin. Winner of that shoot-off, also scoring 57, James Osborne. Check for 75 pounds. Today's Masters Champion with an incredible 59, Jack Harris. Yeah. Yeah, managed to pick up seventh, which was pretty cool. Um, avoided the shoot off due to one guy not wanting to do it and another guy uh, going home, which is pretty cool, so happy with seventh, could have been a lot better though. Um, Jack won Welsh Master um, at the beginning of the year, um, done a brilliant score, 59 out of 60 today, which is, in these conditions, pretty epic. Um, and yeah, but he's British Master for this year, so doing really well, um, passed the flame onto him, which is which is pretty cool. Um, still looking forward to the shoreland tomorrow, um, it's going to be a good day, um, another couple of courses, so now it's just time for me and some of the lads to go and um, sort the courses out, and we'll get, get cracking again tomorrow. To find out more about the sport of field target, visit thebfta.net. Subscribe to Team Wild TV for the best hunting, air gun, gear and bow hunting videos on YouTube.